Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing a ranking of the Harry Potter books. So let me just say that this is a personal ranking, it, it doesn't apply to everyone, it's my personal opinion. Now, when it comes to these books, there were some books, in fact all books had interesting concepts, but some books executed it a bit better, some books felt even better, in my personal opinion, and overall, um, some books were, were better than others, and that's that's when you finish all seven books. Because every time you read a new book, you think, okay, this is going to be great, or this was great. And then when you start off a new, you know, the next book becomes the next big thing. So finish reading all seven, you will finally kind of understand where you want each book to rank in. So let us begin. So when it comes to the number seven spot, I have to, I have to, I have to put this book in. I know some people will be a bit disappointed, but The Order of Phoenix. That's right, ladies and gents. The Order of Phoenix. I'm sure this is, this is possibly um, on many people's uh, ranking on the, at the bottom because, you know, a lot of reasons, a lot of reasons. Now, when it comes to this book, this is the biggest in the series, and yet it could have been even shorter. J.K. Rowling even mentioned that as well. It could have been very, sh not super short like the first book, but something maybe like around the Goblet of Fire. That would have been perfect. And there's a lot of detail in this book. I feel like there was stuff that shouldn't have been there. I was disappointed towards the end of it. Uh, I felt like I felt like certain parts of like the final battle was just, just, you know, so it was kind of, kind of, you know, just happening to way too crazy. You know what I'm saying? To a point where it's like, okay, this is, this is, this is very, very, um, I don't know, strange, you know? And obviously I, I, I thought it was way too crazy in my opinion the ending part it was it, it sucked that Sirius died in this in this um it really is disappointing so yeah and Umbridge was not the problem of me disliking this book having any disdain for this book I felt like there were some interesting concepts and at the time of finishing reading uh, at the time I finished reading this I was disappointed Eri did not learn occlumency because this was something you're supposed to learn in this book, and he did not learn it, and I was so disappointed, and I kind of still wish he kind of learned it in this book. I know he fully, he fully gets occlumency in the final book, but come on, I really wish he learned it earlier. It would have been a bit more interesting, you know? Um, anyways, that's number seven. Number six. This is a bit controversial. I know many people will, will kind of wring my neck for this. And I'm very sorry about this. I'm very, very, very sorry about this. <gasps> the Deathly Hallows. Now, this book is wonderful. It has some wonderful moments. I, I loved how Harry versus Voldemort was a thing. You know, they destroyed some Horcruxes. I enjoyed it. The certain parts I felt like, eh, it was... It was a bit, it was a bit strange, um, but overall, this book is a really good book, a really good ending to the series. I, I just missed more of that Hogwarts schooling stuff, you know, so, you know, yeah, this book kind of differs from the previous six because it, it's not, it's not about school anymore, it's about fighting Voldemort, defeating Voldemort, so, yeah, and, and, I'm happy that he dies in this book. I, I just feel like when it comes to the pre when the other books, the previous books before that, there are some of those books that are better than this, in my opinion. Everything is my opinion. So, okay, there you go. Then we come to the next book, which is, I have to do this. I have to do this. <laughs> the Philosopher's Stone. Now, for many, this might be pretty low. Some people might even rank this at the bottom. It's the start of the series. 
Very simple, very interesting. I like it. I really liked it. It hooked me on, like, it just hooked me on. It, it, it got me like that, you know? It's very good. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Now, why it's here? Because other books are more interesting, in my opinion. And um, that's all I can actually say about that, <laughs> really. So, there you go. I know some people w would rather have me put Deathly Hollows over this, but I, I, still, I still have special, special feelings for this book compared to the Deathly Hollow. Now we go to the next one, which is the Chamber of Secrets. Now, this was, this was a very interesting book to get into. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed, um, I enjoyed uh, Lockhart in this, in this book. I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed the mystery of it. it that, was, that was the best part. That was like the best part of this book, the mystery. So good. Really, really good. And, and everything kind of fell together in the end for the most part. So, yeah, we go at number four. So, which book comes next? Now, the next book, honestly, I, honestly, the next book will be a bit, will be a bit, um, I don't know, is it, is it going to be controversial? Do people even like this book? The Goblet of Fire. I love this book. So many mysteries, so many things happening in this book. Fantastic. And, um, and towards the end, I was, I was so surprised Voldemort came back. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The freaking uh, trophy was a port key. Oh my gosh. Like, all of the stuff fit really well. I enjoyed it. I really did. I really enjoyed it. I loved how Harry had to figure out the, what tasks lie ahead of him. I like that. Um, I enjoyed this book. I really did. <laughs> okay, the next one we have Prisoner of Azkaban. Honestly, this book was really, really good. So dying good. Okay. I loved it. It was... I wish I could find more words. Uh, I loved Professor Lupin in this. I, I just... I just felt like this was so good. Now, when it comes to the time concept, I know a lot of people don't like that when it comes to anything, and I can understand why. It gets very muddied. Even even now, I keep thinking of it like, you know, like there's there's a never ending chain of 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 Harry and Hermione just going back in time, trying to change everything. There's a there's a never ending chain of that happening, basically. You know what I mean? Like, if that makes sense, there's continue so many, so many um, timelines now, I guess. You know, I'm, I'm not really a big fan of timelines, having different timelines and stuff like that. But honestly, like, I felt like, they, you know, they did it, they did it pretty, well, pretty well over here. But that's the thing about time, manipulating time. You're always going to get this large chain of stuff. And, and just the surprise of, of um, Sirius Black, that, that, that was fantastic, the way everything was done. Then we come to The Half-Blood Prince. Honestly, this book is so fantastic. I loved it. I really did. Such an interesting book. Such an interesting book. The sixth book in the series. Dumbledore dies in this book. It's unfortunate, but hey, this book... Freaking fantastic. There you go. So number one is the Half-Blood Prince. Number two is the Prisoner of Azkaban. Number three is the Goblet of Fire. Number four is the Chamber of Secrets. Number five, the, ph the Philosopher's Stone. Number six, Deathly Hollows. And number seven, Horror of Phoenix. So that's how I kind of feel about these books. Everyone feels different things about these books everyone does. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.